Edison, thank you. Thank you very much for the, uh, for the membership. I hope everybody's doing well out there today. If you can hear me over the sounds of the cars roaring by. It's good wood time. I've been looking forward to this. This is the, the one time a year I race with these guys usually. And uh, it's always been fun. There's been some memorable moments. But hoping for a good showing. We're set up here for dual touring car races today. Which should be, uh, which should be good. Oh, Haskari, 20 months. 20 months, man. Welcome. And thank you very much. That's crazy, 20 months. I feel like that's longer than I've been streaming. <laughs> but I, I appreciate that very much. So we got a mini roaring on by. So, I'm here for Goodwood. This is with the Sroll League, S-O-R-L, S-R-O-L. You'll recognize some of the names, probably. Uh, if you've been around the past couple years, I've, I've gotten the chance to race with these guys. And it's always a good time. Jake, thank you as well. Sideways touring car noises. Absolutely. <laughs> There's uh, a lot of different types of cars. We've got a Mustang roaring by there. What is this? The Hillman Imp, of course. So it should be good. There's the fair lane. So there's a good selection of cars. Lots of uh, talent on the grid. I'm going to download the pack. Yeah, this pack, I, I put a link in the description to this pack of cars. It's the TCL, TC Legends. It's a, a really great set of cars by uh, Baza and the THR, THR grid. Uh, we'll take a look. We're in practice. So we've got an hour practice, which has about 45 minutes to go. Kringle. Thank you. <laughs> Welcome. So we got about 45 minutes, about 43 minutes on the clock, if you can see it. And uh, I think you'll just be able to make out, hopefully, the uh, the top times there. Might be a bit small, but Oscar right now. Of course, Oscar's up front, driving his little MGB from Nate Lubson in his Mustang. And uh, I guess drumroll. Drumroll, please. We'll take a look here real quick. I'll be driving this beauty. It's not the camera I was going for, but this will work. It's a bit loud over here. I'm driving the, the Toyota 2000 GT, if you can hear me. And uh, this car will be good. It's it's, oh, it's probably middle of the pack pace-wise out of all the cars we'll be racing today. Middle of the pack, but uh, hope, hoping I can end towards the, the front of the grid at some point. And speaking of which, I should go out and do some practice laps and make sure everything's working and all of that. Hey, Matthew, how you doing? AJ as well. Der Bayer, thank you, sir, for uh, su supporting as well. That was great. It's nice to see everybody. It's been a minute since I've done a stream. We've got a little MG in front. We'll uh, roll out of the pits here. So the format today, we've got this 45 minutes left to practice, 40 minutes or so. Then I'll have a 10-minute qualifying. 10-minute qualifying session that'll set the grid for race one. Straight up start, race one, 20 minutes. And, uh, oh, I need to change the thing here. Hold on. We will go to this. There we go. That looks better. Uh, 20 minutes for race one. Have a five minute break in the middle. And then uh, reverse the top 10, invert top 10 for race two. So, depending on where I am, you could be fighting for 10th so that you have the pole for the second race kind of fun to keep track of as well but hoping to do pretty well i've had mixed results the past couple years the first year we raced the uh, two years ago we raced this exact set of cars i was racing with the uh, ford the massive ford and uh had a running into with mr oscar in his little hillman imp and uh as fun as that was i'm hoping to avoid hitting anybody today yeah there's a few galaxies it's pretty um or is it the fair lane i think it's the fair lane not the galaxy we got a few of those big Fords out here, though. It's pretty evenly split. They did random car selection. So this is a car. This Toyota 2000 GT is not a car I've actually driven too often. Um, so it'll be fun to get some seat time in it and see how well I can do. It should be fairly quick. If I, if I drive it right, I think I could end up in the top half of the grid, definitely. It's going to be tough to beat the Mustangs and the Fords and stuff with the big engines, though. 
come around though through the chicane. So this is good wood for folks that haven't uh, seen this track before, I guess. It's a great track. I recommend this as a track just to kind of do some vintage racing around. There's no mistake that they use this track for vintage racing in real life. Really challenging though, it's not got some easy corners we'll come to Magic here to start. And it's really vague corner. I think you want to try to hit the apex maybe there. It was a little early on it. It's going to shoot me out a little bit wide. But that gets you onto the straight. And this is the fastest part of the course. So you want to make sure you're uh, carrying as much speed as possible. Get it up to fifth gear. Come through forward corner there and set ourselves up for St. Mary's. Tricky entry on this one. We're going to get it down, you know, down one gear. Try not to spin the rear end out. Really slide it. I'm going to run into the grass. Oh, no. All right, spin on the outlap. Stop right on the apex of the corner. I think somebody was coming there, yeah, Lars. That's a reverse entry into St. Mary's. All right, and that'll set us up for uh, Lavin Corner. I think that's how you pronounce it. I always, I always get this one wrong, but Lavin Corner, Levant Corner, whatever it is. Thank you, Ascari. We'll catch you later. The ideal line, exactly. All right, and then the back straight here. Great passing zone. It's really tricky last couple of corners, though. The entry to this corner, it's a, a super tricky double right-hander here. So I want to get it down to fourth gear. I think I'm going to take this in third gear. You kind of want to miss that first apex because it's this apex that you want to grab, I'm pretty sure. And then come up to the chicane again. I'll keep it in third gear. And it's just about flirting with the walls. You don't really want to bonk them. I think we've got it on limited damage. So there is damage, but it's uh, you know, it's not 100%. So you can get away with a little bit. I wipe out all the time in corners. So don't feel bad. It's part of, uh, part of racing. All right. We'll see what I can put together for a couple laps here, though. Oh, and you know what? I don't think I've got my good setup loaded. Pause it here and jump in and just make sure I got my good setup on. I've uh, my good setup. I've I've literally uh, changed some of the tire pressures <laughs> and stuff. But any little bit helps. Hey, went golfing. Say I uh, love this. Keep up the great work. Remember to have fun. Yeah, today's all about fun. I've had so much fun doing these races the last couple of years that uh, I'm looking forward to this. So two years ago was these set of cars. That was the Oscar incident. Last year we did the uh, minis, and to be honest, I don't remember a ton from the minis. I struggled a lot with the Mini Cooper, the front wheel drive, front engine, or uh, rear engine, front wheel drive type thing with the minis last year, and uh, I'm happy I didn't get the mini today, especially because it's, it's quite a slow car compared to the rest of these. But I was up to the challenge, if that's the one I got. I'm happy I got the uh, Toyota here, though. Loading my hacks, exactly. Yeah, but this is all about fun. There's no championship or anything on the line. These guys are doing some racing tomorrow as well. I'm not going to be around, unfortunately. Oh, Darren. Big Jake, let's go. How about a Live for Speed AI stream one day? I'm in the garden playing football manager with the stream on. This is living. It sounds nice. I actually have been talking to some folks about Live for Speed lately because they have they have AI now for the modded cars, um, which seems really fun but then they've also introduced motorcycles into loop for speed and i'm very curious how that is but thank you very much darren and uh i i think that might be if, if not on here on twitch but it might be something something to do at some point been wanting to go back to live for speed all right things are feeling good here so the races are 20 minutes i think it's going to be about 15 laps at the most So we'll, we'll have to see. I think I've got the fuel figured out and all that. Obviously, no pit stops. It's just a straight battle. Trying to stay out of trouble. That's the biggest thing with these races. A lot of... Uh, nobody knew what car they were driving until about 10 minutes ago. So or 20 minutes ago or something like that. So not a lot of folks have practiced their cars. A lot of people, you know, they just race stuff like this once a year. So be a little bit of chaos here and there, but it's usually fun. When, when Detroit and IndyCar 2, 
sometime soon. I, I feel so bad that I haven't done both the IndyCar 2 and the uh, Richie Axles and stuff recently, but I just haven't either had the time or, or wanted to. I gotta wanna do it, but I, I will be in that soon. I won't make any promises, but it's not, not forgotten about it. I think about it probably too much. Yes, the X's, the yellow X signs do mark the apexes of the corners, but it is it is a suggestion. <laughs> Each of these cars drive a little bit different, so it's not always the exact apex that you want. That was pretty nice, though, that time. I'm driving the Toyota 2000 GT, which is a cool car. I, I was reading about it a little bit, because I don't, I don't know an incredible amount about this car, but apparently it was designed by Yamaha, and this edition of it was tuned by Shelby. So it's got, they lowered it and I think maybe worked on the engine a bit just to get more power out of it and stuff. So it's a pretty souped up version of the car. It's a really neat, neat little machine though. And as I said, the link to the track and the cars and everything is in the description of this stream. So if you're looking to try, try this stuff out, I recommend, these are some of my favorite things in Assetto Corsa. These cars on any circuit, but even around here especially is a great track. It's a newer version of the Goodwood circuit. It's been uh, refreshed a little bit with some of the scenery and all of that just to make it look, I think, a little more period, although I'm not 100% on that. Understeer a little bit there. Let's see, so I'm sitting sixth, sixth right now. Yeah, won its class in the SCCA in 1969. It's a uh, pretty cool car, this one. It feels so low to the ground compared to a lot of these other cars. I right, will come around, double apex. I was alright, I was a little scared of the apex that time. Walk behind the Jag here. Now these cars do perform quite a lot different, so some of them are a lot quicker in a straight line than others, some corner better than others. Oh boy, it's right on me. Yeah, it's pretty soft. I've got it pretty soft on the front end just to help it to turn in. <laughs> it is a lot like an E-Type, isn't it? That's interesting to think about. I wonder, wonder what the inspiration was. They would have been pretty contemporary with each other. But I, I did have this car in the video I made not too long ago about Suzuka. This was one of the AI cars in that race. And uh, obviously was a frequenter of the Japanese racing scene in the 60s and early 70s. This is a private league, so there's no open joining. It is a little bit of uh, an invite type league. I'd love to let anybody kind of join in, but it's a, it's a tighter group of friends and stuff that do these races, and and uh, they allow they let me join in with them on, at Goodwood every year. Third gear here. Yeah, that's got pretty good brakes, actually. I'm surprised. And Nate Cowan in front. I know Nate. Looks like he's got an... Uh, is that an MG? Into the pits. First, first corner is, is so tricky, Magic. It's every time you take it, it feels like you're doing a slightly different corner. But it's some mixture like that. I think I was a little tight on it, hurting hurting my speed down the straight just slightly. That is a real proper Jag, isn't it? It's like a very decorative looking car for a race like this. Get it down to third maybe for St. Mary's, two sideways there. You can see how much time, so I got my relative on, running with a bit more HUD and stuff just for the online racing. Keep it, uh, make sure I'm being safe most of all with the mirrors and all that, but I've got my relative bar and everything, and you can see when you slide through a corner, it's, it's much slower. Took that one wrong. It's telling me though, I'm three tenths down off my best lap right now. Huh. 
how am I liking my DD so far? I really like it. It's uh, it's not so different than my last wheel, the uh, Elite that I had. It's not this like night and day difference, but it just feels a little more substantial, I'd say. It, it, it just, I definitely feel like I'm not gonna break it at any point. You know, it's made out of metal and stuff, so it just feels a little more robust than, than my last wheels. Force feedback and stuff, though, I'm not the guy to regale regale you over the specifics of force feedback and you know, what's good, what's not good. I, I actually run pretty light force feedback overall, but it is it does feel very precise. I'll, I'll say that, I guess. Especially in the middle of the wheel, where the belt belt driven wheels tend to struggle a little bit with that. Yeah, that was see how much better that was through magic that time. I'm up a quarter of a second through there. Let's see if I can put the rest of the lap together and keep that. Ooh, very sideways in front. There we go. Clip the curb. Down to third gear. I'm undecided between third or fourth through here, through St. Mary's. Gonna keep it to third all the way to the Levant corner. Levant. Levant. There we go. That's pretty good. Coming up behind Matthew. Watch him pull away on the straight here. He's got the Mustang. A few more ponies in that one, as the name would imply. slow there. I didn't quite drift out enough. It's still fast. Right on the curb. Try to get the chicane here. You can ruin the whole lap through here. Oh, he's a little slow in front. It's going to hold me up a bit. It's all right. If you were here a couple years ago, we went too wide with the Fords through there. That was my fastest lap so far. So 32.4. I'm up to fourth overall, which is not too bad. We should have about 23 drivers in here today. Yeah, and I've got the 8 Nm uh, the CSL. Oop, that's what I get for reading chat. <laughs> Shame on me. We got Joey coming up behind me. Yeah, I'm driving the 2000 GT. Should have about a half an hour left in this session. This is practice. We got qualifying after this, and then two races with a uh, with a grid invert between them for the top ten. So I either want to win, or I want to win. But if I can't win, finishing tenth is not a bad not a bad option in race one. To start on the pole for race two. The problem is, look at this. So come through the chicane here. So on the front grid, right, we'll start here. This sets you up for the fastest part of the track. And so the Ford Mustang, the Ford, uh, what is it, the Falcon, the other fast cars, they're just gonna have an advantage here for the first part of the first lap. Over the entire lap, the cars end up being fairly equal. I mean, all things considered. But uh, for the start of the lap, it's definitely territory of the faster cars, so that's, Especially at the start of the race, it's going to be tricky. Uh, I missed that just a little bit. Matthew Palmer in front here on the grass a little bit. If you were here last year for the minis, I ended up on the grass quite a lot. The Ford Fairlane. I gotta remember that. I don't know why. I, somebody called it the galaxy in here earlier, and so that's what I keep thinking of. Old cars feel more real to drive than new cars in Sims. I don't know if they feel more real. I think it's all about what you enjoy. What you enjoy driving. I like the older cars, usually. I drive new ones from time to time, just not on, not on the YouTube channel. You don't want to watch me do that.
Jason Plato do that? Yeah, I mean, like, if you're in, like, you know, seventh or eighth place, it's, it's one of those things where you're like, should I just let the guys go by so I can finish on the invert? I kind of wish it was random. I kind of wish the, uh, the grid invert was random so you didn't exactly know what position is inverting, but it is what it is. everything looks and sounds good. It's been a while since I've done some of Seto Corsa, so I was trying to kind of reset things and make sure they worked. Me and Matthew here are about the same speed. It's going to be really tough to get past because any straightaway is going to be dominated by him coming to the corner. He got a little loose there on the entry. A little bit of a wheel hop situation. But now he's going to absolutely run away with it. as slow as I thought it would be. This is good. I don't know how good of an exit he got there, but I'm not totally drowning. Right at the end, though, he picks a lot of space up. Or gains quite a bit of time. I messed that up. Ooh, nicked the wall. A lot of cars in the pits in the moment. On their setups. I like how my car feels. I I changed the tire pressures and I think I, I lowered the front sway bar and uh, stiffened the rear a little bit just to get it to oversteer a lot more. Hey Nate, how am I finding the Toyota? I like it. I like it uh, quite a bit. Ooh, car spun off there, got me too. That was a I think that was Jimmy. Uh-oh. Um, I'm liking the Toyota so far. It feels like a, I'm going to have a good good shot at some good racing here. As always with these things, my, my goal is to just have a close race with somebody. I don't necessarily care if it's uh, for first, although that would always be great, obviously. But as long as I'm racing somebody, some good battling back and forth, that's, that's what it's all about. So hopefully we get something like this. Me and Matthew have been glued together for a handful of laps now. No, and I'm not going to be hitting anybody today, so we're simply going to do some nice, gentlemanly Goodwood racing and uh, hopefully come out on top. Feeling quite nice about fourth, though, in practice so far. Yeah, all of these cars are pretty rolly compared to, like, a modern car. Five speed, so it's a little more active than some of the other cars, but just gives us more gears, more options for the corners and stuff. I was a little fast into Magwix, but I'll make try to make the most out of it. You can see though, I didn't get on the throttle quite early enough, so I took a kind of a narrow line, and uh, it's hurting me down this entire straight now. The head movement I've got in here is from the neck FX. Uh, I just changed some of the settings over time just to make it feel a little more lively. Couldn't tell. I'd have to take a look at it. If you remind me on Discord or something, I can uh, send my settings for anybody that's interested in that. After the race. Alright, pulled back into Matthew here. This is good, good practice for the race. I can catch up to him through the whole middle section of the lap and then he just runs away from me. fast into the corner, slide to scrub off speed. <laughs> All right. It's a big, big old curb there. So they did something to this version of the track where they, I'm going to uh, bring it into the pits here and we'll do a quali run. Uh, they did something to this version of the track where off the track there, it actually slows the car down quite a lot. It's interesting. It, uh, it definitely uh, slows you up got going on here.
Okay. They're going to restart the server in five minutes. We'll see if we can go out and do a lap, but we should get disconnected in about five minutes. Uh, all right, so race race fuel, I think I'll run about 35 liters. For qualifying, go out with 15. I don't want to put too little in the car because, you know, if you don't get a clean lap, we're all going to be on the track at the same time for for uh, 10 minutes together. So getting clean a clean lap is going to be what it's all about. satisfying to drive though it took me an hour or so to get back into the feel of Assetto Corsa whenever I drive it it just has a specific feel to it but I always have a good time good time driving it I'm glad I could do that for you Roman hope it's uh, hope it's fun learning about new things I love learning about new stuff all the time yeah it's a good it's a good amount of variety in this race I would recommend all of Baza's mods. If you go to the site, I've got linked in the description where you can get this mod. He's got his uh, other ones. I think there's three or four of them. They're all great, especially for, for some online stuff, but all of the cars individually are fun. Hey, Billy. Hope you're well. tires. Alright, the server's going to restart here in a couple minutes, so I might not be able to get this lap fully complete, but we'll see. Ah, I missed the turn in there by a wide margin. See if we can get the second apex. Kind of. Do I find that the classic cars compensate for the lack of sidewall movement? I haven't. I don't know. <laughs> I haven't raced a lot of newer cars in a set of course. I think maybe the only thing I've raced that's newer is the uh, Indy cars, some of those different mods, and uh, can't say I've noticed anything different about them. But I'm, I'm certainly not pushing them on the edge. Yeah, the second to last corner is so tricky. If there's a corner that's going to catch me out repeatedly, it's that one. So, we'll have to try to get ahead of it. Slow in, fast out. That's, that's how these cars work. Yeah, the set of course is still a really fun sim for vintage cars. You just have such a selection, I think is the biggest thing. That was much better that time. See how much I gained. The thing is, it's not such a long run to the chicane, so you don't really need to maximize the exit. You probably actually want to push the car into the corner a bit more. Try to get as much as you can on the entry, because the exit, you're not really running for that long. Yeah, Nate, I saw. Thank you. Big thumbs up for Nate Lovson, too, in running all of this. Get the server going, all the different settings and stuff. It is. If anybody's ever done server hosting, you'll know that it's it's not a, uh, a fun time most of the time. But thank you, yeah. I saw that. We're restarting here in a minute. It does look like a very English day. It's very cloudy. All right, backing off this lap, I'm gonna just jump out the car here and wait for them to restart the server. All right. There she is. Ah, this is gonna be a lot of fun. We'll see just in this preliminary group. Looks like Nate, Nate actually has the quickest time there. It was at a 1.30. I just missed all the times. 
Oh no. <laughs> yeah, Ian. If any, if any of you remember about a year ago now, isn't that nuts that it's been a year since we did the historic sports car series? It's really crazy to me that it's been that long. But uh, time flies. All right, let me just do this here. But uh, yeah, been a year somehow. And uh, if anybody remembers the Targa Florio where we had the grid gridding incidents, we got it working. Thank God. But it was certainly a process. Yeah, Nate's streaming, and then I did link in the description, uh, Stephen Bailey has a kind of stream of the overview. He's doing some stewarding for this race. So if you're looking for, I don't know if he's doing commentary or anything, but if you're looking for kind of a uh, outside perspective to put side by side with this or watch that instead, you can catch, uh, catch Bailey's stream. That's in the description. All right, so we're just waiting for the server to come back up. So we'll see. We'll see when it comes back. I appreciate everybody being here today, though. I hope it's some good racing. We got two races, two chances to uh, hopefully have a good result. Yeah, I crashed out of that Targa Florio, which was very disappointing. <laughs> that was the one I was looking forward to the most. But it's it's what happens sometimes in racing. So we should have maybe another 10 minutes, maybe until the uh, practice ends once this gets back going. And then we'll have the qualifying. And then uh, the races, we'll see how that goes. Thank you, Shid Pasta. Do my best, Graham Hill. No YouTuber resets. Now it's a straight up, uh, straight up battle here. This NASCAR poster is not from Papyrus, no. It's a, um, it's a poster of all the tracks. So you might... That's actually really interesting that you, you saw it uh, and, and thought Papyrus. It's a, a picture of all the tracks from the 1993 NASCAR season. And most of those shots were actually used as, as like the source photo for the track selection shots in the original NASCAR game. And so that's why they look so familiar. That's why I saw that poster years ago, and I finally was able to find one that was, you know, pretty affordable and bought it. Cause it's super. Uh, <laughs> just for me, having grown up playing NASCAR racing, is uh, it's definitely the one to have. All right, I think we're just waiting for the server to come back. You're trying to fix. There's somebody having some kind of connection issue and stuff with it. There we go. I think it's back and running. Hello, Travis. All right. Server is back up. Let me see if I can join in now. NASCAR 1 and IndyCar 1 have the best box art. It is good. It is, like, pretty classic. They both had many versions of box art, though. I think NASCAR Racing had less versions, but IndyCar 1 had some different stuff. All right. Back into this. Kill the music. So we have 15 minutes of practice. All right, 10 minutes of practice to go. All right, we're right on about time for everything. Just load up my setup again. We'll go out and do just a couple laps. There's 10 minutes to go in the session. 
and then we'll jump into qualifying. Got a pit limiter. Tech for this 2000 GT. Bill Elliott NASCAR on the NES is a very hard game. I thought at one point to do like a video or a stream with it, but it, I can't even do a single race and uh, successfully complete, complete laps in that. Ooh, crash in front. <laughs> a mini against a Ford Falcon, or what am I saying? Ford Fairlane. R.I.P. That wouldn't end well. The Ford is so much bigger than the Mini. <laughs> Try hard. We'll see. We'll see how we finish, Jimmy. Boy, that's what I get for reading chat again. Looks like I've got the car under control. Yeah, I feel pretty comfortable with it. And uh, we'll see. We'll see how I fare against everybody else. I think a little bit it's going to be some, some race craft or luck just to get past the incidents and any kind of crazy stuff off the start. We'll see. I didn't even see what Jimmy's driving yet, so we'll have to figure that out. NES game is a first-person racing game on the NES. But it's about as crude as if you saw I did a video a long time ago on Days of Thunder. It's a belt like that. Maybe even more crude somehow. It's a pretty tricky one. But it's it's really neat for its time. I mean it was like one of the only first-person NASCAR games until Papyrus's NASCAR one, so. Yeah, it's like 3D. <laughs> Jimmy's got an MG. All right, we'll see who's finally, finally we'll get to see who wins, Oscar or Jimmy, in the MG battle. I don't actually know how quick the MG is relative to uh, the Toyota here, so we'll see if we're faster or right with them or behind them. I think Days of Thunder, I played the DOS version, but it's also on the Amiga. That was alright. I just have to figure out, turn one is by far, I mean, although I've been crashing more in, in the second to last corner, turn one is the hardest one to get consistent. It's just the turn in is so vague. I was a little late on it there. Sorry, let's just carry the speed, try to get it to turn. <laughs> All right, that's not the quick way to do it, but it's fun. Just a lot of sideways sliding. Yeah, there's an MGA and an MGB in this uh, car's group, so it's one of those. Do I use a custom dash for the 86 car set? In NASCAR 2003, it's just the, I think it's just the Aero 88 mod. slide enough. Whoa, eight behind me spun out. See, it's not just me with a tough time in that last corner. Oh boy. <laughs> that was close. Real 
all stacked up there. I just kind of sent it and hoped, hoped they would give me the space. Yeah, this car does remind me of some of the, the Datsuns, the, what is that, the 30, the 300Z? I got my car models mixed up, but you know the one I'm talking about. That was in Dirt Rally 2 and stuff. It's a very similar aesthetic to this car. You sit kind of way back, at least visually. Trying to carry speed. I missed the apex there, but just trying to carry the speed through. Big overtake around the outside. Two forty Z, there you go. There's a YouTuber I like a lot, Ronald Finger, who's uh, fixing up one of those. If you like kind of mechanic videos and stuff, I recommend his. Man, it's crazy how much better uh, just a good exit me like two tenths there. Alright, sitting in second right now. This is just practice again. We've got qualifying coming up here in about four minutes. Ten minute qualifying session. If you like Rust, watch those videos. Well, there's, there's certainly a lot of that. I just think it's interesting how he fixes everything. And he's not like professional at it, so he fixes all the stuff and makes mistakes and feels very, very much like it would feel if I was doing the same thing. There we go, nice, nice exit there. You want a little slide, just not a lot. There are no Datsuns in this race. I don't think they're part of the... There's a specific subset of the TCL cars that were chosen for this, so I think they're just part of that. A little too fast there. Keep it on the track, though. Just wide. Very, very wide there. Lose a ton of time. There we go. Lost all three tenths that I was up. Yeah, there is a, as a part of the AC Legends, TC Legends packs, there is a Datsun, there's just none in this in this race. It's the square Datsun, the really uh, chunky one. there i'm excited for this i think i've got a pretty good car and uh, should be able to at least race with some other folks let me just change this up <clears throat> so we've got one minute left let's take a, a quick peek here at practice times so nate lupson up front right now with the mustang we got the two mustangs nate and his father <laughs> steve up front there the 289 mustangs though Nate's got a 131. I want to say he had a 130 in the last session, which is wild. We've got Nate Cowan right in front of me in the MGB. The 132.2 and myself, 32.3. It's about as good as I've done in this car. I might be able to squeak out a 131 if I do a really, really good lap. Oliver's behind me, another MGA. We've got another Mustang back there. Jake Ozzy. Oh, nice. Jake's in this. Uh, first one with the Ford Fairlane. We've got a Healy back there. Hodge is uh, with the Toyota. Somebody just jumped up. Cortina with Gavin. Keep looking down the order. Joey, Vaughn. So we got a Hillman, too many Coopers, Jag, the Hillman imp again. A bunch of Hillmans. Jimmy's sitting back. I'm not sure he's done a lap yet. If 
few others towards the back that are just waiting it out. Oscar's sitting there, just wait, waiting for his turn, waiting for the quality to start. A nice, uh, nice Cortina flying by. We'll watch some folks try to take the chicane. I'm driving the Toyota. I'll show you guys again real quick. So this is my car for today, the Toyota 2000. Sorry. Try to fly around nice and slow. Toyota 2000 GT. It's a really cool car. You, it feels like you sit. I mean, you do sit far back. So it's not inac uh, inaccurate. You sit pretty, pretty far back. These are the other cars that we're racing. If you can hear me over all this noise. So we've got the MG. There's one of the Fords. Nice, nice group of cars. <laughs> Here's the Hillman Imp. Not, uh, not Oscar this time. Here's another Ford, or a Toyota rather, 2000. Ah, it's gonna be a good, good braces, I imagine. I hope. Whoa, right out to the edge. See the Jag up there, getting all over the track, all over the curbs. Comes to the final corner, a little power slide. You can really lean on this curb here in the final corner. There's quite a lot of, uh, quite a lot. This is just the normal free camera in Assetto Corsa, so it's an F7. Can fly around. All right, I think it's time for qualifying. I just need to put a little less fuel in the car. Put uh, 15 gallons, 15 liters rather. All right, we got a minute. So, main goal for qualifying is just to get into the front half of the grid. If I can be in front of some of the craziness that's going to be in the back, then, then that'll be good. So hopefully try to uh, set a banker time and then see if I can go faster. <laughs> the passing out. Yeah, it's just changing, changing sessions. we got a minute countdown until the qualifying begins. But really important that I get a, a valid time in as quickly as possible just so that I can sit on that because I'm sure there'll be at least a couple guys that don't uh, don't get a time in and you don't want to start in the very back for sure. It'll be interesting to see though if I remember how this went how this went uh, last year two years ago the different car speeds is just very fun to race with because you got some cars that are you know, much quicker in a straight line, others that are quick in the corners, so you pass each other back and forth all the time, and it's just really entertaining stuff. We've got 10 minutes to qualify, so it's not that much time. It's only maybe six or seven laps at the very most. Probably less than that, so need to be, uh, need to be on it here. Appreciate everybody coming today. It's been a while since I've done a stream, so uh, enjoy enjoy doing these whenever we get the chance. Once a year with this. All right, let me just make sure my fuel's good. It is. We'll jump out on the track. Jump into qualifying. <laughs> it's like, why is it accelerating? I'm just riding the top of, of first gear. All right, 10 minutes in this qualifying session. I don't know if I've got a countdown timer anywhere. It's my bad. I'll have to put that on. What do we got here? Should be a good like default app that does that. Big Mustang coming up behind me. We'll figure that out once I get a lap in. Spin in front, a few cars all over the place. We're really packed up here. 
going to make a, uh, a flying lap interesting. So I got Nate right in front of me. Got a little bit of a gap to Steve behind, but he's going to be awful quick in that Mustang. Let's try to do the best lap I can. Get around Nate. Right against the walls there. I thought I was going to hit it, actually. All right, starting my first qualifying lap, let's try to get a banker in. I got a small gap in front of me. So we'll see if that uh, if that stays or what. A little wide through turn one, but not too bad. Carried the speed at least. Get it up to fifth gear here right as we come into Ford. Try to get through St. Mary's here, nice and smooth. Right before the sign on the left, get it down to fourth gear. Try to hit the curb on the inside, I just missed it, but not too bad. Out of third this time. A lot of sliding in it, that's a little too much. Carrying the speed though, keep it in third all the way up to Lavin Corner. Got a little bit of a slipstream here down the back. It's going to hold me up, though, maybe in the final corners. You can see the slipstream coming in. My relative's picking up. Oh, I didn't get it up to fifth. What am I doing? Sorry, right. just finished this lap. That was silly. I'm actually right on my PB right now, which is interesting. So easy to throw a lap away right in the final corner there if you run a little too wide through the chicane. Get around the outside of Lars, hopefully. Ooh, he almost scoops up into the back of me there. It's a really narrow entry into turn one. That's tough. I think that was Jimmy in the grass. Sliding is somewhat mandatory at Goodwood, you're right. It's just not the fast way always. You want a little bit of sliding, just not too much. I'll try to keep it in fourth this time, see if I can just carry more speed through this left-hander. Really chuck it sideways, smoke the tires. Yeah, it's too slow. It's just really fast there. Sitting in second for the time being. Got a slow car up here, a mini. Oh, that was interesting. All right, this lap's not super great, but I'm just trying to set up this next lap to be good. Got one car in front of me, but then a good gap. Still in qualifying right now. We've got a few minutes to go. Got about three laps of fuel left in the car. That was good. Carried a lot of speed there. You saw I was down on my relative into the entry of turn one. Oh, I just hit the dirt there and it slowed me down a bit. Yeah, I gotta get a 131, right? so close. I just need a few hundreds. There we go. A little more conservative there. And there we go. Pick it all up on the exit. Ugh. No. <laughs> Throw that all the way there. That is way too fast into the entry of, of Lavin Corner. All is not lost. We've got some time yet for some more laps. Catching a whole bunch of cars in front, though. I'm worried that that was one of my, my clear lap opportunities. Still in third place overall, though. It's not the end of the world. Right, we'll 
we'll see how this works out. I'm really close to the cars in front, which is always a little worrying. Ah, a bit fast there. Just try to carry the speed. It's going to be very slow, though. A couple tenths. here coming up and see if I can squeak a little spot behind him for this next lap although Oliver in front slowed down a bit there too yeah I'm gonna try to find a gap here I'm gonna have at least I'm gonna have one lap of fuel left got Matthew and the Mustang behind me I was just about the same speed as him though during some practice stuff I don't want to hold him up stay to the inside here Alright, Steve behind him, then we got six seconds to the next car. Alright, this might be my best bet. Those Mustangs should be able to outrun me. Yeah, the Imp is probably the slowest car in the set, unfortunately. it's That would be rough to be stuck with that car. Alright, let's see if I can put this together. I only have one lap of fuel here, so gotta do it. Best turn one, but not the worst one either. Just a tenth. Picking it up on the straight though. The light fuel is helping me out. feeling there, but I kept it in fourth gear, which is actually helping me out. I'll get it down into third for Levant. All right, I'm right on my personal best right now. If I can just get through the la second to last corner, all right, I think I can actually pick up quite a bit of time there. There we go. Bring it on back. That was a little bit of a wide entry into the chicane. Right out onto the curb. I'm going to lose some time all the way to the line here, but it's two tenths, which that's going to get me a 13197. Oh, there we go. I'm happy with that. That didn't get me any positions. I'm still fourth, but 131s, those are the real, the real speeds. Let's see how much time's left if I can fill it up and go again. But I think that was the checkered flag, actually. So right there at the line. Oh, that's tiring. Now we still got some races to do. Let's see here. I'm sitting in fourth. We have zero minutes left. So that was the lap. I luckily, luckily nailed that. I knew I was picking up some time on my relative through the final corner. So I knew if I just didn't blow it, it should be all right. 131.9. I'm happy with that. All right. So it looks like Nate's on preliminary pole right now from Oscar. Ooh, there goes Oscar sliding around. Oscar though up in second with Steve in third. So the Lepson, Lepson family up front. Here comes Nate Cowan through the end of his lap. Right onto the curbs, oh, right over the edge. It's gonna kill you. The grass is so, we'll call it muddy there. Slide over the curbing. It's interesting, the LOD for that car has got no hood. <laughs> All right, I think that's pretty much everybody. Everybody finished. So congrats to uh, Nate for getting the pole there. 
nearly two seconds faster. So, interesting. But Oscar somehow pulling a 131.5 out of the MGV. And uh, Steve Lepson in with the other Mustang up front here. I've got Oliver right behind me with an MGA. With uh, Nate Cowan with the MGB. The other Toyota with uh, with Hodge. Back in 7th, 8th place is Matthew Palmer. Jake Ozzy is in ninth, And then Lars is in 10th. Should be a good race. Good couple of races. So the format of this is we've got two 10 minute or two 20 minute races. At the end of the first one, the grid for the second will be inverted for the top 10 finishing order. We'll take a look at the second second half of the uh, the grid. Gavin with the Cortinas in 11th from Joey Quasimo in the first Hillman. That's really respectable <laughs> for the Hillman. 33.5. That's very very fast. Christian. Wagner's back there in the Healy from uh, Jimmy. Jimmy Broadbent in the MGA. Coin is in 15th with the Mini. It's a good time as well. The Mini is, is tough. We got Sam back here in the Cortina. Yvonne, the Mini Cooper. Mod in the Hillman as well. Uh, we got a Jag towards the back. A Ford Fairlane at the very back. And then uh, the last four spots. Duve with the Jag. From Tim in the Fort Fairlane and Nick in the Hillman. Stephen Bailey is doing some admin for this, so he's in the in the back, but he won't be racing with us. It'll just be 23 starters. It's a great uh, great grid. Yeah, a couple HRC names in there. Just a good group of, of folks. I love racing with these with this uh, with this group. All right, Stephen Bailey is going to give us the. Uh, Give us the old speech, I, I suppose. The talking to, if you will. We'll see what he has to say. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. It's very small on the stream. Play nice. So Stephen Bailey says, play nice. I know there's some crazy car differences here, but try to show each other a bit of respect, please. We'll try. <laughs> it's Marlon Brando in the crowd. Yeah, I think so. I always think that's funny when they use... Uh, Lots of lots of folks. All right, race countdown. We'll put in, make sure I've got the right amount of fuel for this race. Do 35 liters. It should be enough. Got my setup all set up, all locked and loaded. All right, enter the car. Whoop! Don't want to race from out there. I am curious to see if I've got a countdown timer. So lap timer, pedals. What do I got here? Do we got essentials? Nope. I don't know what app would give me laps. Nope. I know there's an, an app that just has like a timer. Here it is, race position. So we'll put this, uh, well, we'll put it like under my face. Yeah, we'll put it under here. So this is, uh, if you can see it, it'll probably be easier to read at various points. Now, we'll put it down here. I can't really see it there either. All right, right above my uh, my feet on the left here. It's got the lap and the position. Hopefully, it shows the time. Should be, though, about, I imagine, 15 laps, 14, 15 laps. All right, this should be good. Thank you all for tuning in to this. I've just been looking forward to doing this race a whole bunch with this group of folks and hopefully it's a clean one and we have some good racing along the way but it's going to be a tough tough proposition to catch these folks up front we got two mustangs which are mighty fast in front of me oscar in the mg there in the middle of the front row i know he's going to be doing everything he can to stay up there so we'll see if there's any fireworks you can see hodge behind me in the other toyota i'm driving the toyota 2000 gt for anybody that uh, is joining now this is the SROL League Stroll and their yearly Goodwood event. A lot of fun. But 20 minutes around this track, and uh, we'll see if, if we can finish in one piece. Biggest thing is not to crash or spin or something, because that'll absolutely kill you. Do I use a single screen? I do. Yeah, it's just a single screen. I can see a little bit more than you can. I have an ultra-wide screen, but just the single.
It's the calm before the storm. I don't know when it's going to start, <laughs> but hopefully, uh, hopefully I get a heads up. delved into VR sim racing at all. I've, I've used some VR just for fun, but uh, not for not for sim racing. Oh, wheel not straight. One minute fifty, okay. Yeah, there was like another countdown. I've never, I don't do enough AC racing, so I don't know when the actual start would be. Yeah, for folks that are just jumping in, I did include in the in the description all the links and stuff to download this, but also a link to uh, Stephen Bailey's stream. He's doing an exterior type stream if you want to see if you want to see that and uh, see us all racing. I don't know if he's doing commentary with it. I imagine he's talking at least, but uh, get a different perspective on things than just my viewpoint. I'm sure there'll be lots of chaos at some point. Hopefully, nobody nobody has too big of an incident. All right, I'm ready. I'm ready for this to start. Plan is just to get away from the pack. I've got a couple quicker cars behind me, but nothing uh, that I'm just looking at that Ford that's behind me. Yeah, if you want the actual monitor, I have the Gigabyte M34WQ, I think it is. <laughs> this channel made you buy a sim rig. Well, I'm sure, uh, why is everybody revving? It says I'm not in gear. Hopefully I'm in gear. Here we go. Lights are lit. Out. We're underway. All right, we got the time and everything. Get away from the line. Stuck on the inside here. We got cars coming up the outside. I didn't get the best start there. It kind of surprised me. Get it up to fourth gear right on the inside of this MG. Little fender, little fender action. All right, we'll get it on the back section of the course. Get the other Toyota right in my mirror. Get it up to fifth gear. Come up the inside through Ford. It's not a easy corner in a lot of cars, but there we go. I think I got away with that somehow. Try not to do anything too crazy here into St. Mary's first time through. Hodge behind slides a bit wide. to my left there. Alright, game on. Some racing behind me. Hopefully I can scoot away from the cars behind and just focus forward. That's always nice. Yeah, a little bit of leaning there. All in all, hopefully nothing anybody's upset about. I think it was clean. Alright, we'll come towards the end of the lap. Biggest thing's just not making a silly mistake here and throwing it all away. Still cold tires and all that. There, nicely through. Going to the chicane. A little bit wide there. Mustang all over the dirt. Oh, car behind. Saw a car go into the wall there. So in fourth position, right where I started. It's clouding over a little bit. Chasing Steve Lepson. We've got Oscar in front of him in the uh, orange MG there. And then Nate all the way up front in the other Mustang. He's going to be really, really tough to catch. You put a talented driver in a fast car. And uh, I think that's what's going to happen. You can see Oscar sliding all over the place up there, closing up on, on Steve a bit. Can't forget about Hodge behind me. Down to third gear here for Lavin Corner. Try to get a good exit. There's no way, just no possible way I could out drag the Mustang. I hope.
hope I put enough fuel in the car. Get up to fifth gear. Hot just got a bit of a run on me. to that grass at all. It really slows you down, even if you have to compensate a little bit or compromise through the apex. but he's not running away from me. As tires heat up and fuel burns, we'll just have to see what happens. Down to the third there just to save the car a little bit. I was going for a big slide. Messy entry into Lavin Corner. Just trying to get on the gas. Right at the curb there. Just, just got it. I use a TH-8A shifter, a Thrustmaster. Had it for years and years. It's run perfectly. I've never had a, an issue with it. Had it for probably seven, eight years at this point. And you can imagine, I've done, I've done a few shifts with it in that time. I keep my eye on Hodge behind. He's definitely not falling back. Oh, as I clobber the wall there, that's no good. He's going to have a mag mega run on me. Here comes Palmer behind him. Ah, that was a bad mistake by my, my part. Hopefully the car's all right. Let's see if I can get Hodge back here. Just a little too close to that inside wall on the left. not lost. It's easy to throw a race away after something like that. Yeah, I think the car is, is fine now. So it's Toyota v. Toyota. It's always good when you're racing next to somebody in a, in a race like this, racing next to somebody else in your car. He runs a bit wide there. All right, sneak up the inside. I'll drag him. He would have not gotten the best exit, but I had to compromise it too. I can hear it whining there to my left. Okay, he got on the brakes a little early just to let me in. It's good, good racing. Back around. Let's try not to make a fool of myself here again. Through the chicane. Got a caution flag. Oh, it's Oscar. Just comes on the track. Get around the inside of him. Probably did what I did. It's so easy to just just nick the wall and it really shoots you out to the outside. Bit hot there into turn one. Had to throw it back down to third gear. That's gonna hurt me on the straight here. That was not good, come on. I passed Oscar and I didn't hit him. Oh, we got some bonking behind me. The Mustang cloud of smoke there. Wow. I don't know what happened there, but we'll have to watch watch that in post later. All right, focus forward. I think I think I could catch Steve here if I do a really good job. Oscar's gotten back around Hodge behind me, so we're going to have a mirror full of Oscar in a second. E3, on track overtakes only. I mean, I have technically overtaken somebody. Might have been because I had an accident. Big slide here. 
That's not fast, but I got it around the corner at least. Right into the wall. That was so close again. Oscar is wringing the neck of that MGA. It's really cool to see somebody because there's I would be so much slower than him in that car. This car is absolutely quicker than the than the MG behind me. But he's able to extract so much out of the cars. That was a good good first corner for once. We're already coming up to halfway through this thing. Just under 12 minutes to go. there through St. Mary's. Oscar's got it nicely sideways. We're onto the dirt just a little bit. It's a weird entry, but it worked out for me. I'm going to have a nice, nice run down the straight. Yeah, I mean, he's going to be quicker through the corners than me is probably where he'll make it up. I should actually be able to out drag him on the straight, but maybe not with the slipstream. We'll see. This is what it's all about, though. I was hoping for for some tight racing with some other folks. It's nice to nice to do that when you can. Just nip in the grass on entry there. Slide it around the final corner, second to last corner. Go up to the chicane. I'm a little afraid of it now, which is not good. It's right on me now. It's weird it's not showing his hood. I don't know why. But maybe he lost it in that crash. I get my mojo back through the final chicane. I'm really losing a lot of time there. Although that last lap, I think, was a 32-2. Am I wrong? All right, Oscar's right on me, though. Coming up to St. Mary's. It's going to be a tricky place to make a pass if he's going to try it. Looking on the inside. Get down to fourth gear. Biggest thing is don't don't force let them force you to run wide or anything like that. If I can speak, just run your line. It's his job to get around me. <laughs> Something with the LOD. Right there with me, though. <laughs> He's got a bit of a run here coming down the straight. He's going to be on the inside coming up to the final couple of corners. Side by side here. side there. Uh, it was a good move, Oscar. Right, let's see if we can get through this. Oh, he gets it really sideways there. <laughs> Holds on to it. You got it, Oscar. Oh my god. Got back around him. All right, if we could do that on the last lap, that would be, uh, be pretty entertaining. dust there. He's right on me. As so we come down the straight, get up the fifth gear, I'm going to lose a little speed. I think, I'm not sure if the MG has a five speed or a four speed. Right on me as we come up to St. Mary's. It's a, a tricky place to pass. Slides in front. Ah, that was a really, that's a good place to pass if you can pull it off. Because I really have nothing to come back to him with. I thought I might be able to sneak it into second there and accelerate out better, but definitely lost me some time. All right, Oscar's gotten around. Hodge is actually not super far behind us, so all that battling, slowing us down. Steve is still not pulling away too far. Bit of a lockup from Oscar in front here. onto the curb on the exit. All right, that was a little bit better that time. Get it on the throttle as early as possible. So back to fourth, right where I started. I'm 
It's actually the same same group in front of me as when I started, but so much has happened in this one. Let's carry a lot of speed through turn one and two. Uh-oh. You can see Jimmy, Jimmy Broadbent coming up. It's up to seventh now. Might not be a bad place to finish for the invert. much of a slide it's really a really really slight slide is what you want but anything more than that it just slows you down yeah I was in third I was in third through the chicane I might try second though it felt like it bogged a little bit definitely third through here Oscar's hot I'm hot too it's all right Putting on a show for the spectators. That's what Goodwood's all about, right? Man, that felt really uncomfortable a second through there. Oh, I'm up to third. Nope. That was weird. Somebody blinked or something. I got 10 seconds over Hodge. He might have made a mistake behind me to fall that far back because he was he was pretty much right there. 1.3 seconds off Oscar. Steve and Nate Lupson up front. And uh, Palmer and the other, that other Mustang is now going to be falling into the clutches of Jimmy behind me. second you're just not going high enough rpm to i could probably get second to work but you'd have to shift too much shifting you lose a lot of time in this car shifting just that that second half a second that you're out of gear you're just not you don't have to drive anymore so you lose a lot of time oscar lights him up oh me too i'm like i'm totally doing that thing where you follow the car in front of you and i shouldn't be doing that i'm gonna run my own lines here so easy to do though when you when you follow another car to kind of match what they're doing because you see them break and subconsciously even you just try to break a little bit further than that try to close that gap and it leads you to missing your apexes and things or what if they broke too late then you're breaking even later so it's really important to just try to focus on your own driving but it's much easier said than done third gear here I missed the left apex there through St. Mary's it's all right Oscar might catch up to Steve here and we never know what's going to happen then oh, that was nice I like the position it's weird across the pits because uh, Steve uh, Stephen Bailey's in the pits just his car because he's spectating. Finally, hit the corner finally. Yeah, I'm just quite slow coming through the chicane for some reason. I'm scared of it now that I hit it. All right, that was a pretty good lap. I've done worse laps before. The 
link to the tracks in the in the description of the video. Absolutely is a great, great version of this track. Made with uh, actual LiDAR data, so it's pretty accurate to the real thing. Slightly too much, but it was a lot better through there. Gain time down this whole straight now. Chasing my personal best lap with the with the relative. It's right on it right now. We gotta rev this car out, it seems. A bit tighter there. But it actually might have been faster overall. Ugh. Did not get that right. Alright, we got just a minute to go. I think it might be two more laps. I got three laps of fuel, so I'm right on the money with the, the fuel amount. Man, it's a lot lot to happen in a race for, for it to look like I'm going to finish in the same spot I started. But a good one, good starter. Two race, uh, two race outing. Decent through there. My only hope here is that Oscar and Steve get into it. Jimmy has closed up a lot behind me though. So in race two, if it finishes like this, he's gonna start in front, which uh, was, will make it interesting because I don't know if I've got anything for him. Yeah, it's looking like a lups in one too. Finally did it halfway decent. Just a couple laps to go. This is probably the last lap, I'd imagine. I'm hopeful it is, because I don't have too much fuel left. Yeah, it was a 131.7. That's my best lap I've ever done in this car. Definitely uh, trying as hard as I can to catch these guys. They're just very quick. Oscar is a different kind of talented in, the, in these types of cars. And of course the Mustangs are, are the Mustangs, but also piloted by very good drivers, so it doesn't, doesn't help any. Yeah, a bit surprised there's no lapped cars either, or somebody that may be wrecked at some point, but Everybody in this race is very good at this, so it's probably why it's been relatively clean, at least from my point of view. All right, we'll come down though. Final few corners here in race one. Oscar is right on Steve. Oh boy. Very, very fast here. Just hold on to it though. Oscar's going for the move. Oh boy. He's two. Oh, he's gonna get him. <laughs> oh, but no, Steve's gonna have to run to the line. That'll be a replay worthy. That's that's worth looking at. I think Steve got him though, coming to the line. There it is. <laughs> Fourth place in race one, but that the battle in front of me, I think, is where it was at. Ah, oh, that was a good one. Might have to hop on to say hi to Oscar. Oscar really, uh, <laughs> really did a good job with that one. Let's see if I can catch up to him here. It's a good race with him, though. He got—he definitely earned getting the spot back from me. Tried—I tried to give him my best, but you know. <laughs> uh, that was so much fun. I'm excited for race two, so if I finish fourth, I'll be starting in sixth, so it's not too bad. Not such a difference. 
hope it was fun to watch from from the viewer seat, as it were. Back to the pits here. Let's see if uh, let's see if these guys are here. Third out of the two game. Oscar, <laughs> congrats, man. That was good. Did you yeah, did you fun. get him at the line, Steve? He had more horsepower off the last chicane. I couldn't quite get there. Uh, I was rooting for you, <laughs> even though I don't, I don't have anything against Steve, but I was I was rooting for you. Yeah, I it, I shouldn't have crashed into the chicane. Then I would have I would have beat him, but I had the pace. But you have just you know the passing is really difficult. But it was good fun racing you. The cars seemed pretty well balanced against each other. They did. Yeah, you had a. Um... We, I enjoyed the pass into St. Mary's because I wasn't expecting <laughs> wasn't expecting that to be a place you could pass. I really enjoy that turn and just how you have to get in and out of it. Look, we it raced each other too. and, and we, didn't, uh, we didn't die. Yeah, a few friendly knocks off the race. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that was a lot of fun. Lots and lots of fun. So it looks like Nate got the win from Steve over, over Oscar. And myself, Hodge, oh, back no, in the uh, Jimmy got up to six. Mustang for the entire race. <laughs> <laughs> I bet that posed some challenges. <laughs> I just shot at him. I'm surprised Jimmy got out. up to oh, six. No. Uh, I might have done the same. Yeah. But he got me before the, the flat out kink. Well, I guess turn three it would be. And then he stopped in the apex. I'm like, uh. And he was like two inches in front of me, so he just went round. Jimmy, I saw you coming, so I'm interested in race two here if I can uh, catch up to you. Oh, I think so. I mean, I am uh, all over the place at best. <laughs> see. All right, looks like we've got like a minute, a little more than a minute before the next race starts. Quick count. In, in the shot block twist, Jimmy, the, the MGB was horrendous off the line. <laughs> I had a great launch, actually. Yeah, um, so did Mac in the other MGA. My launch wasn't bad. I had nowhere to go, though, so it's like, well, what are you doing? Yeah. What, did you have, like, a fair lane in your there was, uh, line at all? <laughs> any kind of wrecks? Gone. Like, uh, I passed it. There was Jake, and then, um, obviously, he drove by down the straight, but in the corners, that fair lane was, <laughs> what's the big boy? <laughs> the fair lane is what's the big top? Boy. Is it top ten reverse? Yeah, I think it's top 10. Yeah, yeah, top 10, sorry. I, can, I can't read this. It's Wait, is there a reverse grid? Yeah, top 10. Oh, good Christ. So now I start with the, the boards behind me. Yeah, you've done all the job of trying to get in front of the... Well, get back to where you were, and now, you, now you've now you got the even faster one directly behind you. Yeah. Oh, dear. Well, I mean, starting in 10, the trick will be not getting destroyed in the first corner, I think. All right. I hope that was fun to watch. I had a lot of fun racing in it. And uh, I'm excited for race two here. Although, so I'll be starting in sixth now for race number two. And coming down to this first corner is really where it's going to be crucial, crucial to get away. Really nice version of this track, though. I love that you can explore these tracks with, uh, with the free cam. Just checking to see if they're saying anything about the next race. All right. All right, there's the grid all lined up for race two. So I should be starting here. There I am, starting in the middle of row number three. This is our grid, take a nice picture. They won't look like that for long. Should be good. Should be good. All you, all you can see is me. Here it is. <laughs> so we got our grid all lined up. For race two. So it's another 20 minute race. And uh, I think I nailed the fuel and everything. So be interesting to see how we can how we can do. You can see it now. <laughs> I realized you couldn't see it. Um, but looks like for
front row, we do have an imp somehow up there, which will be interesting. Let's see if we can see the starting order. So Jake Ozzie is going to be up front from Joey Quasimo, Lars, Matthew Palmer in the Mustang, who we saw towards the beginning, then Jimmy. Oop. Face cam only race. That's like my worst nightmare is that I would do that at some point and just do face cam only race. That's what happens. All right, from Hodge and then myself. So starting seventh, I've got Oscar right alongside me in the uh, the RNGMG there. Steve Lepson and Nate Lepson alongside are right behind us. So it should be uh, it should be an interesting one. Yeah, the track sounds are nice as well. All right, but we'll jump in. Let me just make sure everything is good to go here. Same setup as last race. I thought it was a pretty good setup. I don't know. Could be biased. I made it. But a good race one, it was a little, well, it was very exciting at, at times, but finishing fourth, starting fourth, starting sixth now. So we'll see if I can uh, come up the order. And I don't know if they're calculating like best results based on starting positions and all of that, but we'll see. I guess we'll see. We'll wait to hear all the uh, engine revs again. <laughs> Is that an LMP or a very well disguised 911? I don't think there's any 911s in this, so... I'm not sure which car you're looking at. So that, that car directly in front of me is a Hillman Imp. And I would be pretty afraid to start on the front row with that one. I think it is the slowest car in the set. But he finished in the top 10 last race, so I guess he would have earned that. I'm good. I'm, I'm happy I'm on the right side of the track. I'm worried Steve behind me is going to get a good jump off the line and then kind of overtake me to the right, which will make turn one very scary. But we'll see. We'll see what happens here. Hopefully I can get <clears throat> I started to get the final chicane again right at the end of that race. Oh, I see. You're saying imp. For some reason I thought you meant LMP, which wouldn't make any sense. But yes, that is an a Hillman imp. All right, so lined up for race 2. At Goodwood, another 20 minutes, starting a couple positions back. We'll see if I can get into the top five with this one. But like last race, mostly want to avoid any kind of uh, of crazy, crazy crashes or something. And see how it goes. I'm hoping I can get to the inside for turn one. Seems to be the safest way around. Especially, at, we'll be at a little lower speed, so I should be able to hook the inside pretty good. And uh, avoid the two Mustangs behind me. But I do, I do feel as though I'm in slight bit of danger. Having two big V8s in my rear view mirror. But clearly they're both very talented at driving them, so we'll see how it goes. Alright, lights are up. Here we go, race two. Lights are lit. Out. We're underway. Oh, the Mustang in front does not get off the line. Sounds. Oscar behind me there. Man, I couldn't hear anything. <laughs> RIP headphone users, I think. That was so bizarre. I'm, I'm so happy we all seem to have made it through that. All right, coming through forward then. We got Oscar right behind me. I think Lars in front. Jimmy's going for the lead up there. And his little MG. Let's see if we can get up to him. Fourth gear here, the imp. It's using all of the road and then some. Well, that's going to send me a bit wide. Oscar's going to be all over this. Try to come to the outside then of Lars in front here. This is not the best position to be in. Come on now. All over the curbing. Ah, it just was never going to work. I shouldn't have gone to the left. 
but I don't know if I would have fit to the right. All right, Oscar got around. Man, that, <laughs> that Ford Fairlane was so loud off the line. Oh, Jimmy's got it wide. All right, nice and easy through the chicane here. Second gear for this lap. We're all a bit slower. And I've got a mirror full of Nate Lupson. There's just no stopping it. Here comes the, uh, the Mustang. There it goes. Here comes the Mustang. There goes the Mustang. <laughs> Sounds like I'm inside of it. Oh my god. That was so, that was so loud. I felt like I was inside the Mustang for a second. right side here, Lars, kick it down, oh, I locked him up, into St. Mary's, just don't run wide, Hodge is all over me now, this isn't going well, falling back a little bit, some of it's inevitable, but some of it is little mistakes, wide in front. Prepared for chaos here. This is a tough place to go through wide. Hodge is right behind me now in the other Toyota. Very slow here into the last couple corners. Why did I do that? Oh no! Same thing as I did in race one. comes Jake Ozzy in the Ford Fairlane. Man, that's two races now. I offered that inside wall. Oh my god. Just getting a face full of exhaust here. I thought I was far away from it. No, I'm not punting it. I don't think I'm going to be able to catch Jimmy at this rate. I'm falling backwards. All right. Fairlane's going to be awful slow here. Another car behind me as well. Oh, come on. That was a little bit, a little bit me, a little bit him. I definitely just like ran him over there. All right. this coming on my right side now I'm getting all messed up here Just in the soup the Healy's gonna come on by another MG it out of the chicane there. I have fallen back to 10th. I really need to try to pick up a few spots at least. Come up the inside into turn one. Should have the line here really tucked onto the inside from that MG. It's Oliver on the left. Got the Austin Healy in front then. Side by side, a Mustang in my mirror. This got really tricky last time with the the Ford coming on by. I didn't didn't wasn't able to take the right line. And then I, I definitely just kind of clobbered him. I'm happy that didn't spin Jake Ozzy out. Something happened in my mirror. I didn't catch it, but it went quiet suddenly. Last couple corners here. Break just before the 100 marker. Oh, 
Oh, a couple cars spinning out. I think that's Lars and Jimmy got into it. It's so hard. I can't see the chicane walls this low when I'm entering behind another car. It's so tricky. All right, back up to eighth then. Skill on skill, completely skill here. But I got them all laid out in front. I think I'm quicker here than Christian in front. I just need to find a way around. Ooh, Christian's gonna run into the dirt a little bit there. Actually, had lifted a little bit before Ford, but I was able to get him. All right, Let's just get through St. Mary's here. corner. Now the fair lane's going to have a decent run down the straight obviously, but we'll see what happens coming through the final couple of corners. It's just, how do you pass a car that's this big? There he goes. See ya. <laughs> so fast. Edge there. Oh, I'm a bump. <laughs> I can't see at all. all right, Christian's got a bit of a run, but he's going to be on the left side. He's going to try to over under me here. Might do it too. I feel like there's a pack forming around Jimmy in front. All right, Christian got around. We got Steve right behind me too. Man, a lot more interesting with the grid all shuffled up. Oh, the helmet in. Somehow holding on in front. <laughs> Jimmy's got a Jimmy's got a train here. Somebody's got to grab a screenshot of all of us all uh, lined up behind him, running away in his little MG. Yeah, the Jake on Jake violence. Poor Hillman Imp just sliding back. It's just so slow in a straight line. They'll be quick through the final few corners, though. But, like, where can you pass here? This is, this is preparing to be a major, major wreck here in the final corners. Sneak around, Joey. It's a valiant effort, though. That is not an easy time. <laughs> it's Jimmy Newman, Jimmy Truly. Pick your favorite hard-to-pass racing driver. He's certainly doing a great job. Oh, it looks like Hodge might have got around him. All right, just about halfway through the race. Man, it's been a rough one so far. Hoping I can clean it up here and pick off a few more cars. Oh, side by side here. Christian and Jake went for it. Oh, I make the contact again. What is that, hit number three? Keep it tucked nice and close, run around the long way. There we go, sneak in front of Jake. He's gonna have a lot of speed on the straight here though. See if I can keep it in front of him. I went really late there. Way too late. What am I doing? I got stuck in the... in whatever they put on the asphalt up there. My God. Uh, that was all me, 100%. <laughs> Joey came flying in. 
Yeah, good move until that. Look, at got some more chaos in the mirror there. Oh boy. Ah. Uh, it's all right. I'm bummed I did that though. I just recognized it as soon as I was headed into the corner that I went way too deep with it. That's not good. Matthew's gonna have a run on me now too. Oh man. Lots of little mistakes in this one. Side by side with Matthew here. I think he might have followed me into that corner. Alright, we'll stick it in with Matthew. Should have a little better handling here if I don't throw it off the course. Staying power. Moving on by. A lot of warping happening with the with the net code and stuff. Oh, he spun out. Oh no. All right, I did pass him on skill. Pure skill there. run on, on Matthew in front, but he's just going to run run away down the straight, I'd imagine. Especially the second half of it here. Down to fourth gear. Oh, right on the back bumper. It's so hard. He slows down so much more than I have to. That's where I make all my speed, too, so if you can't get around him in the corner... All right, we got the outside line. Let's see if we can make this work again. This worked for me once before. Oh, there's a Mustang in my mirror. <laughs> this is so good. I'm having a lot of fun. I wish I didn't make a couple of mistakes there because I could have been maybe fighting in the top five, but it's still been a very fun race. Just a few minutes to go now. Not to blow the braking here again. We're stuck up behind the imp now. He should be quick through the end of the lap here. Stand on the brakes. Oh. <laughs> no! <laughs> totally fair passes. We'll have to inspect that one after the race. Oh, he's going to let me by. The Mustang slowed up so much in the in the chicane there. I think we all kind of did a Constantina into each other. I'm still intense somehow, but I did. I think I got punted by Jimmy. I went a little too hot into Lavant there. All right, we got four minutes to go. Let's see if I can get back around Duvet, at least in front. This is how Joey's doing so well in the imp. We're all just wrecking everywhere, and he's just doing his laps. He's just doing his, his laps, staying where he needs to stay. Another yellow flag here. That was such a weird corner. It's gonna push me. <laughs> no, it's gonna look to the inside. It's 
seemed very nice of him. I think he probably could have passed me there. slightly. Oh, I'm understeering so much. I wonder if I've worn out the tires a little bit. Hope there's no more punting. We've had enough punting in this. Big smoke from the Jag in front. Well, the imp gets around the car in front of him. Right up to the inside wall. All right, got to run on Duvet then. Just a few laps to go. There's a little tasty battle happening up the road too that I'd love to get a part of. Pumped the gas a couple times there. Jimmy's going to have a bit of a run behind me. I think I might have a little bit of top speed on him, which is honestly saving me quite a lot. He's right there, though. Ooh, he's going to look up the inside into St. Mary's. Saw that coming over and under. Ah. Might have a bit of a run here down the straight. No, Jimmy's not my nemesis. We're good friends. Oh, I think I just have so much more power than him. One of the MGs has a little less power than the other, and I think he's got the lower powered one. <laughs> How did he stay in there? That was impressive, actually. I have to watch some of this race. side though through turn one not even commentating on it anymore it's it's using most of my brain cells this one we've got oliver too right behind us in that candy caned mg really tidy on the inside as we'll come through st mary's gave him a lot of space there try to stay around the outside a little bit of contact Knocking in the fenders a little bit. I should get another run here because I just have that little bit more power. Makes it clear he's going to the right side. Sneak around the left. Onto the curve, it's gonna be side by side here into the chicane. That's not gonna work. Push Oliver out. I didn't know what I could do there though. All right, I think one more lap to go. It's final lap, final lap of the race in 10th, fighting for 9th. Get Jimmy right in front of me. Carry a little bit of speed through turn one. We've got Duvet right behind, but I think we can pull away from him if I can. Get a nice slipstream on Jimmy. Ooh, he's a little bit slow. Come around the outside through Fords, maybe. He's gonna use the whole track coming up to St. Mary's. I don't really 
badly like this. That was bad. Kind of noped out of that, but then really did not set myself up for the corner very well. All right, I got to make a really good exit here through Levin. Not really good. Kind of okay was that. All right. Heavy on the throttle here as we come down the back straightaway for the final time. I'm not quite close enough, I don't think. Come into the final few corners. Oh, right on the curbing there. I didn't get the hook right. Come through the chicane. Ah, that was a fun, fun fought race. I think I'll get tenth maybe once we once we cross the line. Tenth place. Good run with Jimmy there at the end. Ooh. <laughs> the wheels flew off the imp. Oh, just get t-boned there on the side. Nail the wall. That was very tiring. But that was a lot of fun. <laughs> a good, a good scrap there for the end of the race. Ah, uh, jump back to the pits. We'll watch. We're gonna watch some of that because I want to see some of the uh, the battling in race two there. I don't know if I'll have the replay for race one at this point, but I think race two is much more interesting overall. <laughs> it's a heavy hit. Ah, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it though. It was a lot of fun, and I'm always always happy to race with these guys. Let's see what they're saying. Good race, Jimmy. That was fun, man. Sorry about the contest. I did. Uh, I did wait for you. Oh, uh, no worries. Um, yeah, thanks for waiting. But it was. It was a lot of fun. I was like asking for another twenty horsepower on this track. Like, please, <laughs> come on. I think that was the only thing keeping me with you. But we had a good little scrap there. I, I don't know how we went too wide through like the whole final section without without bending each other. Yeah, I was waiting for the crash. It just didn't happen. <laughs> I tried everything against Nate, Jimmy. I heard you say him, but my uh, microphone... It looks like Nate good. actually won I this gave one, him too. Everything, everything my little MG had. <laughs> and then he just drove around the outside of me in the corner. <laughs> but narrator, it was not enough. <laughs> no, I did try. I can't believe Nate won the race. I can't believe Nate won. Oscar, was it close? <laughs> uh, yes, I was only seven and a half seconds behind. Well, I was on the absolute ragged edge the entire time and didn't make any mistakes. I managed to do a 31-2 oh. in the MGB, and it just it doesn't matter because you can just do 30s. <laughs> it's good effort, though. I did try. I defended down the straight against the Mustang, which was quite funny because it just went past me. Yeah, I had a lot of that. I got totally just confused when the Fairlane came alongside me. Jake Ozzy... I just couldn't see anything anymore because I'm so low to the ground, and then the sound of it over. <laughs> I couldn't hear yeah. anything well, I'm glad else. That you got that experience. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I see. <laughs> it it is scary when the the big cars come up and you're in something that's small and low and all of that. So definitely. Oh, that was great fun, fun though. Life. Yeah, thanks for having me again. Only a few murders, you know? I think I'm doing well. I'm doing better. <laughs> I want to get a screenshot. You had a nice train behind you for a little while. Of like, I know. I saw it. Man. It was like 12 Everyone. cars in a row. I'm going to catch some of the replays. I will be back in a little bit. Okie dokie. All right. We're going to watch. I think I've got at least one of the replays here. 418, yeah, it'd be this one. We'll see, uh, we'll watch some of the race two together here and see see some of the happenings in it. I'm sure Bailey did a more thorough, uh, thorough overview of everything, but let's get rid of some of these on-screen little things here. The whole grid lined up at the start of the race. There they are. There we are. All right, we'll watch the start here. Probably be really loud. All right. Imagine this is us all starting. I just got, I just got killed on the start here. It just out of nowhere, everybody just overtook me, and uh, I probably wasn't aggressive enough. I tend to do that.
wait for it. I thought it was going to start here. There we go. All right. Jump off the grid. And away we go. Yeah, the green Mustang did not get a start at all. Ooh, a little bit of bonking there side to side. I'm just totally hidden here side by side with the fair lane. It honestly like very much distracted me to hear that huge engine. It's a great looking grid though. Uh, I was in fourth. I mean, played my cards right. So I, uh, I could have finished maybe in the top three in this. I just made a few too many errors throughout it. We'll see those. I'm not going to watch the whole race here, but I do want to see parts of it. Is coming up behind. I think this is Lars in front. Almost made contact there. Come to the outside, and this was not the right place to be. This actually worked out for me later in the race with some of those heavier cars, but with the uh, the lighter cars the way they are, yeah. Then I got on the grass. So there's not a lot I could have done there. Oscar got around because of that. Look how big the fair lane is in the background there, though. <laughs> it does it does loom large. Hodge behind me is having a tough time with those two. So going to the final couple of corners. Coming into the chicane. I should have just been a little bit more careful there. Really close to that wall. I think I was really cutting it close clearly because I hit it a few times. Here comes Nate. Took him one lap. Gets on by. He's the one that, the uh, blue Mustang there, he went on to win, Nate Lepson. But I'm trying to remember, I think I had my first off here in, in the lap or so, which is really what set me back. So far, although I've made a little mistake, so far so good, I would say. Welcome, Panda Mater. Glad you enjoyed it. I hope everyone enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun racing it. It was a little hard to commentate, actually, in the second race, especially just the amount going on. Oh, I love the diversity of the cars, though. Look at this. I was really having trouble getting into the flow here, too, because the speed difference with, with Lars in front of me here. And that's where I bonked the wall, sent me wide. Hodge gets around me then. Now I've got the fair lane right on my butt. Thanks, Luke. Definitely want to do more Camel GT at some point. I don't know. I've got so many things I want to do. It's the tough part. But I have a lot of fun with it. It's a great series in iRacing. Man, this <laughs> the size difference in this. So I think I hit Jake Gazi a total of three times during this race. I think I hit him up here somewhere. Go side by side with him. We've got another uh, MG there on the right. This being held up here, uh, this is where I hit him. I whacked him real good there. I'm happy he didn't uh, didn't have a crash. Oh, it is really funny, isn't it? All right. So we'll see here. I just want to fast forward a bit and see some of the other happenings. I think I kind of just, just fell back a bit. I was quick, but it's the consistency. Definitely, I think I had some trouble just racing around the other cars. It's it's trickier than it than it seems. The speed difference and everything. Car spun off in front there. 
It, it does kind of look like a truck compared to all the other cars. It's just so big. Nice little pass there on uh, on that Aston. So this is where we all started getting stacked up behind Jimmy there. So he's up in the white MG. And uh, I'm going to have to grab a screen, screen grab at some point. <laughs> I think there was like eight of us at least behind him at one point. He had a good little train going. Yeah, it is. It's so tricky just in how the speed is different and uh, and judging that and, and racing others with it. It's something I could use some more practice with, I think. But it was so much fun. And I'm, ha I'm happy I didn't ruin I don't think I ruined any, anybody's race. Oh, those two spun in front. Got me all over uh, Jake again there. He had a little bit of a spin. Now, this is where I could have I could have just stretched out a bit and I, I threw it away there. Hold on. Let me watch that again. This is, I just totally missed this corner. I'm supposed to break right about the 100. And I just flew past it. The tarmac there is so, oh! <laughs> Hillman goes flying by. The tarmac there is so sticky that it, uh, so sticky that it uh it really slows the cars down which is kind of nice it saves you from having a major crash but I, I probably deserved one there i ran wide again i want to watch the little battle at the end there with jimmy although i eventually succumbed to uh him all right here we go i'll watch a couple laps like this yeah maybe he got to me a little bit I think I was just kind of distracted and didn't uh, didn't hit the braking markers, which is the most important thing. I'm not sure how we made it through that. Jimmy and I there. It's a good little good little pack here, though. All different cars and stuff. It's so much fun. This is the kind of stuff too. I think it's really fun to do is pickup racing. So go side by side there through the beginning of the lap. It's fun to do is pickup racing because you don't, uh, nobody spends too much time like perfecting the car and stuff. You're all just kind of thrown in and, and go. Because if you really sat with these cars, you'd know all their quirks and which one's quicker and it would kind of ruin some of that fun. We go side by side though. This is great. I'm not sure how we didn't crash into each other. So you got around me there, but I think this is when I had just enough speed down the straight that I was able to pass him back. It is really like GT Legends, right? It's the good old days. Right in the slipstream there, dip out. I don't know why the sky flickers. I've wondered that for forever in this. There we go, around the outside, and somehow we made it through here without hitting each other. There we go, side by side, it can be done right up on the curbing gets to the inside. I'm going to give him the, the chicane here. There's just no way to make it two by two. Whole gaggle of cars here. Cortina slowing down at the back for some reason. Alright, I think I get a bit of a run on him here, but I I don't like where I'm going to pass him coming up to St. Mary's. And I just, I should have really set myself up to take the corner well and get him on the exit, but instead I just took the corner terribly. And uh, yeah, that's where I almost hit him actually too, and I'm lucky I saved it there, but that really messed me up for the rest of the race. Well. Well, well, well. I hope you had fun watching. I had a lot of fun racing in it. I appreciate the Stroll folks for inviting me. And uh, I hope to do it again next year. And maybe some other races with them in the not too distant future. But I think that's going to be it for today. Uh, I'll be back at some point soon. Hopefully with a video or, or another stream. And, and something like that. But until then, appreciate you all watching. Hope you have a great rest of your weekend. And I'll see you all again next time.
Actually, the easiest 